Howdy, this is Mackenzie Franklin from Side Game in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Today we're going to be taking a look at Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King by Alexander Pfister and Andreas Pelican. Now we're going to take a look at this with all of its expansions included. Let's get started. So right off the bat, you'll notice that the box is actually combined of two boxes. So we have the Druid's box here that serves as a bottom, raising the box height in total. So there is no lid lift when you combine these boxes, but it will be larger than the base game alone. So that being said, let's go ahead and look at what's underneath the box first. So as you'll notice right off the bat in this bottom section, the thing that's actually rising it up are the additional components for some of the expansions. The first expansions that are kind of separated here are the uh, bonus tiles from the Druids expansion. So all of these tiles are going to be used to denote if you have a special ability, just as a reminder, because a lot of the tiles will give you special powers. And underneath, you're going to have all of the boards from the Journeyman expansion. So these are going to be the passive abilities and kind of the objectives that you're going to be getting as you play with the Journeyman. So generally, I keep the uh, journeyman expansions that are here because not a lot of people enjoy playing with this one so they all just kind of fit on the bottom there and then on the far side here you have the journeyman bits so like i said a lot of people don't really want to play the journeyman expansion when they play it but it's nice to have it here just in case so that's all in these and once again in these little plastic bags you're going to have all the journeyman bits so your little person that you move around etc etc so that's all that's underneath that main section so we can slide the base game box right on top and lift and see what's inside the main compartment. So in the main compartment here, you have three separate tile bags. In this gray bag, we're going to have the objectives. So you can pull those out. In the green bag here, we have all of the druid tiles. And then in the white bag, we have all of the base game tiles. So these are all the standard tiles that you'll be using. This does have enough space to include promo tiles from any of the uh, Board Game Geek stores or any of the goodie boxes, things like that. So those are the three bags. So this large white one comes with the game. You'll need to have find two other bags. Now you can use bags from wherever. You can find them on Amazon, simple drawstring bags. Uh, you can get them from, like this is from a set of sheets and this is from a set of soap. So I just like the colors. I think they complement well, but I will put some links in the description to where you can get some bags. Underneath here, we have an artist container. These are from the Dollar Tree. You can get it for a buck. And this is going to hold all of your components. So this is going to have the coins all laid out nicely in all their denominations that we're not having to open multiple containers. You've got the round marker and the first player marker. We have the extra special one. This is from Pax Pamir 2nd Edition. Uh, we just like it because it's really nice. And it's a nice wooden piece that you can pass around. And we have extra because of that upgraded component. You also have the roads that you can get from the journeyman expansion in here. So those all fit snugly, you pop it open and you're ready to go. On the top side here, we have all of the different player components. So this is going to have all of your, your walls, your axe, your score marker, and you can even put this little token here if you want uh, to use as your score marker. I think it's kind of fun. It's the piece from the journeyman expansion, or you can use it for that if you're actually playing with that expansion. So you have that for the five different player colors. You got a silica packet, gel packet in here for freshness. And then underneath, you're going to have all of the boards. So you have the Stonehenge board for all the Druid tiles. You've got the game board for scoring. We've got a printout of all the different promo tiles. And then we have the rule books for Druids. Base game. And Journeyman. And that's all inside here. Without further ado, let's go ahead and put it back up. So first off, we'll put all the rule books away. The promo tile reference, you will need to go to BGG to find that and print it out. You've got the scoreboard, the Stonehenge board. We'll put all of the components here, the money and whatnot. Our player pieces and silica gel packet just resting on top. We've got all of our tiles from the base game. Oof our Druid tiles, and our objective tiles. And that is organizing Isle of Sky from Chieftain to King with all expansions. And technically no lid lift, but a larger box than you started with. If you have any questions about what you saw here, please let me know down in the comments below. If you have a different idea on how you organize your copy of Isle of Sky, I'd love to know. 
Do you have any games that you want to see organized? Once again, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Side Game Strong.